All right. <laughs> it's, it's your turn? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, now we are in my studio, Schaefer 120, and we are about to uh, go to Cross College, which is the dean's office, and have a meeting um, with him, finally. Uh, and since he refused me to do any audio recording or even taking notes, um, we plan to uh, film me and he, from my studio until uh, we enter the main room. Yeah, uh, uh, this is the camera that's about to be burned. Uh, this camera will be turned on as well. And this is Patrick, he's helping with technical um, stuff. <laughs> okay, let me put you in the back. My name is Xuan Liu. I'm a graduate student in the ARC video program at Syracuse University. At the beginning of my last year here, the dean of the school announced the closure of the program. With the frustration and rage towards this decision, students and faculties asked pointed questions to him, which the dean has been trying to dance around or not give a clear answer to. Today, I am meeting him one more time for a request he might not be expecting. I want to invite him to set my camera on fire to address the program closure. Patrick had a coffee and waited in the hallway until I finished the meeting, came and asked him to take a picture of me with Dean Tick, Elisa, and Ralph. We didn't manage to figure out how to take still photographs with this camcorder, so Patrick just filmed us sit there silently for like 8 seconds. Okay. How long was the meeting? Um, it was probably like 30 minutes. Mm. He, all of them are really careful about their, their position as someone in the administrative as an administrative person. Um, and they were saying they they must refuse this because of like uh, limitation for their position. Like as the dean, you are representative of the university and whatever. Um, which is fine because uh, I, 
I think it doesn't matter whether or not he said yes or no. It, what matters is that is how he said no to me. Um, and in terms of that, I think I think it's a successful case because he understood this project and hence he refused it because he knows that he has certain power. But again, we don't have um, recordings of that. <laughs> That night, I reflected on the meeting and came up with a new plan that I'm quite excited about. Stefan, who works in the school's library, helped with printing those posters. He saw the casting call and was very much interested. Thank you so much for asking about this. But um, it's odd. I kind of fit your description of what you're after. There. <laughs> okay. Um, just want to make sure. Okay. Um, so this is going to be for my thesis. It's called Sunset, and it's it's a it's about the closure of my program, which is our video program. And I'm looking the actor, the role I'm looking for uh, is the dean of VPA. Okay. And he's basically the person who announced the closure of the program. Gotcha. So I want to, I had a conversation with him, and I wanted to invite him to um, set my camera on fire, uh, which is this okay, camera. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as a sound on actor, but. Okay. I'll try. Okay. Uh, I, cool. I really appreciate it. Thank okay, you so sure, much. Sure. Uh, when is your next availability? Like, well, I'm, I work here from like uh, uh, 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. So. Oh, every Yeah. Okay, I see. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's the um, the costume that you yeah. wear for Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> I can wear the black blazer, or I mm. have also um, a gray one. What do you think is more? Mm, let's try both and see both. which one okay. looks better. Mm. So this script is actually a transcript from a meeting that actually happened uh, between me and the dean, and so. The, this is part of the conversation that we had in the meeting. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Part one. <laughs> Greeting. John Dinkik and his team meet on the hallway. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, actually, we've met before. Oh, we may have been together in meetings. Yes. I think we had a conversation that you're not going to have 
cameras or anybody else. Uh, and you're refer refer referring to Patrick who's holding the camera, and Patrick said, I'm not coming in. While you're waiting, um, do you want some coffee? There's a machine right there, help yourself. Everybody does. Didn't Tick and his team let you run into another room? We are going to go in here. Uh, just uh, uh, a little bit tip for reading his part. He's, he's the kind of person who who takes his time to think and like to be really, really careful about what he says to okay. his students. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the pace might be a little bit slow then. then Should I run the one again? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I'm not going to give you an answer today because I'll have to check with legal. The Office of Legal Services as well as the Academic Affairs. Only because I could see that it could be problematic, but uh, I don't I don't know yet, so I'll have to check. I'll check. Because I am the dean, right? I represent the university. I mean, for example, is the dean, well, well, they're all deans. As the deans, we would not be able to form a protest. We would not be able to do that. A faculty member who is not an administrator would be able to you know, establish a protest somewhere on campus. We would we would not be able to only because we're administrators and, and we're just so that's that's just the difference. That's just the difference. I see. Uh, would you view this action of destroying a camera as a form of protest? Well, I am just using that as an analogy. No, I I think as I understand what you're going to do, I think it's artistic expression. It's your art. Um, thanks. Um, I think the fact that uh, you, as an admin administrator, have certain limitations shows that you do hold certain power. And that's exactly why I wanted to invite you to do this. But as you explained, um, I understand that you fully understood the symbolism behind the work and acknowledge that you do hold the Right. Another thing, I would encourage you to, another thing I would encourage you to do, but <laughs> as a third year graduate student, you should know this already, and that is... And that is, you know that there are actors, students in the Department of Drama who can uh, consistently serve as actors in student films. I guess you already know that. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. If you need access to actors, then... Oh, I, I thought about that, actually. But as the artist who's making this project, obviously, inviting you personally would be uh, more powerful than hiring an actor. Right. I understand. You should have a plan B. I mean, you could have a representative, you know, to figure out a way... And if you need an older actor, I know that film students in the past have just posted ads on social media. Uh, then would you be okay if I find an actor, find an actor that acts as you? Oh, I can't laugh. I'm, I'm coming here. <laughs> <laughs> That's your right as an artist. It's your creation. No one's going to interfere with that. Okay. Um, my last question is, in general, do you have any feedback for this project? Not really. Where are you going to shoot? Uh, I'm thinking about on campus, but if you are uh, concerned with the safety issue, I'm okay with doing it outside of the campus. It sounds to me, I mean, students shoot on campus all the time. As long as they have done what you're, you've done, it should not be a problem for you to shoot your piece on this campus. Um, if I was the filmmaker doing this, I would almost certainly want to shoot on campus, but that's just me. Um, if I am shooting this on campus, where would you recommend me to do this? That's a good question. That's a good question. I think you have two options. Either near the Schaefer Art Building, in front of it, near it, in it, or maybe on the quad, or even in front of this building, since this building sort of represents the administration for the EPA. Of course, this building probably really represents the School of Music more than anything, so Schaefer might be better, might be more impactful, but that's up to you. You're the artist. Oh, thanks for your advice. I was thinking about shooting it in front of Schaefer, actually. The home for your program, right. 
um, since after the conversation, I would not have any documentation or any kind of proof. Would you come up with any advice on um, how to prove this conversation happened? We can take a picture. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Would you like to take a picture? Yeah, we can, we can do that. That would be great. And we took a picture together. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. If you need any funding or budget, let us know. <laughs> I will. One thing you should know is Dean and I do not have a good relationship. Oh. We have a very bad relationship. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I find it delicious, the idea of, of playing him in this. I have no problem with it at all. Mm. If you think it's the right way for you to go. And I don't, if you don't think it's the right way to go, I'm not offended either. It's, okay, it's, yeah. it's all fine. You know? um, <laughs> but yeah, we have a, a quite a difficult relationship. So he, he, he may be unhappy to see mm. that uh, it's me. I, I don't think that needs to affect your decision making. I'm just letting you know. I see. <laughs> I, what what happened? Did you have uh, an argument? Is the camera still on? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It, it is, but I can't turn it off. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> After a few auditions, I thought everything went quite smoothly. And then on a Saturday morning, my Professor Cooper texted me. Hey, good morning, Cooper. I just woke up. <laughs> Yeah. Probably what you should actually do is not burn any well, the one from the school um, and just get a different one. And we can um, we can uh, we can purchase that for you. The school can if you can find find one somewhere. Everyone involved has to be very like nervous that this institution will like. Uh, uh, Whatever, attack them or reprimand them or cause uh, strife. So, um, so we shouldn't do anything that will try to anger the institution. And it makes um, ordinary, normal things like burning something that is basically trash um, incredibly complicated and uh, frustrating. I see what you're saying, yeah. You see what I'm saying, yeah. Basically, I'm saying like the same thing Alpha said, which is um, Alpha had to say no because you asked him, and now mm -hmm. I'm realizing that actually I have to say no too because you asked me. Like, I can't, what I said yesterday is you should lie. I can't say that. That's not, um, uh, not fair to you and uh, could get us both in lots of trouble puts you in a bad position if you're lying to someone about something. Uh, and probably it won't come up, but the best way to really avoid it coming up is just to use a totally different camera. So, yeah, th yeah. this is the one that's going to be set on fire, and this is the one I'm going to document Great. the meeting. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Hey, Lily. Thank you. Oh, do you I think that's the... Oh, okay. Wait, let me turn on the camera first. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Uh, are you Brian? Brian? Yep. Oh, thanks for good. meeting me. No problem. Uh, before this we start... This is Joe from the physical plan. Oh, hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Professor, yeah. Yeah, this is In my professor. In charge of the thesis. So I want to <laughs> make sure we're all above board here. Yep. yep. <laughs> and do you mind me documenting our meeting? No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and I brought the camera here. This, this is, is yes, this is the camera. Okay, so most of this camera is metal. There's components on here that are plastic. But the vast majority of it is metal. So, and I assume you're not going to burn the lithium battery. No, the battery. Never be no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So and you're good with the fact that this is yeah. property. It is private. No, it's private property. Yes, oh, yeah. It's it's, yeah, I brought the we, camera. We, actually, she went ahead and got a, a new one. Yes. <laughs> As far as out capturing the building in your frame. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to have to be quite a way. I, when, when I didn't ever talk to you about where it was, but I always imagined it being like at the cross 
Oh yes, that um, actually we can see it here. Yeah, this is not far enough. I'm really impressed with your uh, willingness to help with this. Like, I was a naysayer from the beginning. I was like, no one will ever say yes to that. So, I well, it. it's it's. Uh, <laughs> You'd be surprised how many things uh, happen with. Uh, let's ask for forgiveness versus right, permission. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 the, definitely so, the norm. So, so the barrels probably, I would say they're 18 inches in diameter. So it's probably about that big round, and then the so the outside and inside wall are going to be about this high, and then okay. it'll be flat on the inside, filled with sand. So it'll be there'll be sand in it around the outside. Oh, okay. like Horizontal shot, you won't see it. You'll have to have the camera. Oh, I see. Then it's okay. We can walk around that. We can have camera like pointing down. Okay. Got the best camera view right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Get them to train that one. Yeah. Come on, I yeah. See. So you said like around two? Yes, I'm thinking around about two o'clock on Friday. Yes. Okay. All right. And you're good with that? Good with that. Okay. All right. Um, uh, and do you need the uh, model of the camera? I don't need anything about the camera, honest. Okay. I really don't. Nope. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Yep. Great. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, Hopefully yeah. we can make it work. Okay? Yeah, I'm really hoping to. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for joining the meeting. No, it's good. I'm glad I understand what's going to happen. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just shocked at how accommodating everything is. <laughs> yeah. It gives me faith in humanity. <laughs> <laughs> on the day before I set my camera on fire, I met Tom Sherman in Schaefer. He's the chair of our BD program and just retired. He was cleaning up his office and was giving away many of his collections. I haven't seen him in a while. These are, this, this is student work from over oh, the years, right? And it's all on Pi 8 or Mini DV. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was thinking that, as I mentioned in the email, it's kind of a corpse. Right? So for somebody to make use of this, they could, you know, use a D DVD or use a uh, Mini DV machine to transfer it to something more contemporary to view it. But then, you know, it's a big screening problem, you know, like what you're going to do with it and who wants to see it and everything else. But physically, it becomes like a corpse of all of this work that's been fostered over the years. So it's not my responsibility to take care of the student work, right? but I have it. Right? So, so maybe a, a good use of it might be to make an object out of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. So if you're interested, or other, you might talk to the other grads about that. Until today, I haven't watched any of the tapes Tom gave me. I hold on to them carefully and didn't dare to watch any. This camera that I was carrying around has become a spiritual object. It sees and hears things. I can sense it. It quietly observes and processes information so sensitive and intelligent. In the pile of things Tom was getting rid of, I also find a piece of promotional writing for um, our video major. It is printed. It's still alive, so vivid, fearless and confident. Maybe this is not about the intake at all, or the school, were institutions, were any enemy that I was trying to target at. What am I fighting for? Hot shoe? Hot. A hot shoe is when it has a lot of power. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Just a cold horseshoe. Yeah, I'm not sure. You want to go outside? Mm -hmm. Fire department. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go there. Oh, 
shit. Hey Brian. How are you today? How are you? Um, I'm good. So you prepared everything? Hopefully. <laughs> As a closure to the program, uh, obviously a symbol of burning the, the camera, it's a very strong point of view. Um, nothing malicious about, you know, burning the camera, but just the fact that, you know, it's very hard times and uh, it's a very difficult decision I'm sure the university had to make to close the program. So uh, thank you for all being here to support and, uh, you know, witness this. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again for our Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. And best of luck to you, I'm sure. And everybody else in the program as well. <laughs> Grill. This is, yes, okay. absolutely. Um, so, I want to just thank everybody uh, for being here today. It looks like you got quite a turnout. Um, as the dean of the program for the arts uh, video, I, um, you know, I'm sad to announce that I, obviously the program is closing. Um, and when you came to me about what you wanted to do, I just wanted to make it clear that this is not an act of malice. This is, you know, this is a great symbol of uh, the ending of a program. Um, and I'm here to support you and the rest of the students. Um, very, very uh, trying time, you know, with things going on in the world today. Um, and I'm sure it was a very hard decision for the university to make this. Uh, obviously, it was above my head, and I have to kind of balance out both that I'm here to support my students. And uh, that's why I wanted to clarify that this was an act of malice. It was, it's, it's a very good symbol. Um, and everybody here obviously can attest to the strength of the university and support of everybody here. Yeah. So uh, with that, I will... Uh, okay,